good morning from Edinburgh. We arrived in the afternoon and checked into our hotel and then we spent the evening wandering around, not filming much, and just getting our bearings in perhaps the most typical Scottish weather we've had this whole trip. Because otherwise, including today, we've been incredibly lucky. So today, the game plan is to see as much as we can in the one day that we have here, bearing in mind that we're traveling with a three-year-old and we're exhausted from our whirlwind trip of the UK. Which, by the way, just to catch you up in case you're new here, in the last kind of eight days, we've taken the overnight train from Cornwall to London, sightseed London for three days, then took the overnight sleeper up to Fort William, spent a day in the Scottish Highlands, took the train to Glasgow for a couple of days, and then took the train here to Edinburgh yesterday afternoon. So, now we're in Edinburgh, and this morning, where we have beautiful weather again, it's cold, my fingers are cold. We've come to Dean Village, which, as far as I understand, is one of the oldest villages around the original borough of Edinburgh. These houses are from a very, very long time ago. Dates back to the 12th century, when it was like miners and weavers. Honestly, I just saw it on like Instagram, and it looks beautiful and quaint and like a fairy tale. And it's a beautiful day, so we walked over here to enjoy the old houses and the stream and whatever else you do wandering around an old Scottish village. Hayes and I have been having a great morning, throwing sticks into the river and then watching them race down. Um, Hayes has just got stuck here though, so um, did I win that last race? Yeah. <laughs> Hayes learned his etiquette for old villages from the Hanok villages in Korea. And so now, anytime we're in an area with like small winding streets and old buildings, he tells us to be very quiet. Olive oil and peach, yeah. please. Did they make this in India? Did they make it in India? <laughs> I think they, they made it right here. They made it here. They did make it right here. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Is it as good as it was in India? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mary's Milk Bar. It was on like every list. They say it's the best gelato in Edinburgh. Maybe in Scotland. And it's... I got olive oil peach, which is delicious. Hazy has a dark chocolate. Can I give you your... Now Hayes has two. And it's very cute with a lovely castle view. On a sunny day in Scotland. I mean, we're so lucky. And I highly recommend this. I got salted caramel. Delicious. I got that chocolate! We came back for Hayes to have a nap, which he has just woken up from, but before we head back out, I did want to take an opportunity to tell you about where we're staying. This is the first Virgin Hotel in all of Europe, and it's been open for less than a year. And be forewarned, this next part is going to be a little scripted, because if left to my own devices, I would ramble for 20 minutes about all the reasons we love this hotel. It's funny, because Pete and I sometimes talk like, what's our niche on YouTube? Because I feel like we don't really have one other than we travel as a family. Um, but our style of traveling with a three-year-old, I think is like retaining some of that element of travel that Pete and I had before Hayes and not necessarily like changing everything just because we have a kid. And this is 100% a property we would have stayed at before Hayes. It makes us feel like we're still a little bit cool. We are staying in the Queen Suite, which is incredibly spacious and lovely and has so many amazing touches like this vanity light, these heated floors, this room mist that they delivered right before bedtime, his and hers closets, a cocktail shaker so you can make your own cocktails, this smeg fridge full of local Scottish products, an app to control everything in the room, 
and this alarm clock that projects the time onto the wall. Okay, but the thing I really love about this hotel are all of these amazing, beautiful spaces. They're super photogenic, really comfy, and honestly just like begging to be shared all over Instagram. So many hidden spaces here. So well done. It's the richest flat over there as well. In. All right, so I hope that showed you even just a little glimpse of how cool this hotel is. But now we're gonna go to the National Museum of Scotland. See you there. I hear there's an elephant. Hazy, what's an elephant say? I don't know. You don't know? Does it go like this? Okay, while we're walking, I have a story. It's only three minutes, so hopefully that will make me not ramble. This is not the first time Pete and I have been to Edinburgh together. Wow, that's pretty, look. Okay, this is not the first time we've been to Edinburgh together because we actually got married here. Makes me a bit emotional. On May 21st, 2014. Why did we get married in Edinburgh? Great question. We were living in India, we wanted to move to the States, he needed a visa, that's the only reason we got married. And getting married in India seemed Last overwhelming summer. with paperwork and if we waited to get married in the States, he wouldn't be able to work as soon as we moved there. But we had planned a trip to England. However, you can't get married in England without being in England for 10 consecutive days, or maybe 14, I think 10, to like file this thing called notice in person and then wait around until nobody objects your marriage, I suppose, is like how it originated. Anyway, that same thing exists in Scotland but you can start the process by mail. So we mailed our intent to get married to Edinburgh from India. Came to England to visit Pete's parents. Flew up to Edinburgh for approximately four to five hours because we didn't want to take away any time for Pete's family because we didn't see them that often. Because we lived in India, just got married, had lunch, flew back home, and that was that. Romance. You made that sound. Made that sound so romantic. It was, it was. I didn't do YouTube then, but I did make a little wedding video. And now we're at the Museum of Scotland. Well, we got married. Just up there, just at the end of that street. Lothian, Loth oh, I could never pronounce it. Lothian, Lothian Chambers. Big thanks, big thanks to the two ladies from Wigan who they randomly found on the street to come and be witnesses in the wedding. If you're watching, ladies, thank you. Still going strong. Yeah. I'm going to the trash. <laughs> I promised Taze all day that there'd be an elephant in here because I saw one in the Google pictures. And we walked in and there was like not an elephant, but you guys. Parent sigh of relief. All right, African or Asian? Small. Are those small things or big ones? I think those are pretty big. I think that's not. I do love a British museum where you can just walk in because it's free. Both of our like main activities today have been free, haven't they? Because we did that really lovely walk this morning and now this. And uh, it's great. It just shows you can have a pretty affordable day here in Edinburgh without having to spend too much money. What's your favorite part of that museum? Um, good, good, good. <laughs> Mommy, I think it was the elephant. Yeah. Watch again. Look at this day. Gorgeous. Museum was a hit. Headed back to the hotel because. Because why? My baby's in the cabin! <laughs> Because Hayes' old teacher, Miss Emma, from daycare in Chattanooga, moved to Edinburgh a few months ago to pursue her master's, which we are very excited about. Because we hired her to babysit. So our next video on this channel will be a night out in Edinburgh. If you're new here, sometimes Pete and I go out, have a few too many soda pops, as my dad would say, and film it. If you're not new here, well, I hope you enjoy our next video. 
they tend to be some of our most popular. For whatever reason, it's still shocking to me. All right, it's the next day. We survived, just barely. Um, if you do want to see our night out in Edinburgh, that will be the next video, and that will also be the video where we highlight a really fun, fantastic meal we had at Commons Club. But for now, we have to leave this glorious city and this incredible property. Our time in Edinburgh was too short, but we have to go to the airport to go to Copenhagen. I do just want to reiterate how much we have loved this hotel. And lastly, we do just want to give a shout out to the incredible team here, uh, especially Carlos, Dani, and Yanis. But everybody here has been super friendly and lovely and have made our stay really wonderful. Off we go. That's easy. Seven pound fifty to get to the airport. Children under five are free. Don't say we ever tell you anything useful. Right. Where are we going? Where are we going? Did we, did we mention why we have such bags under our eyes? See you in the next one, which we'll explain the bags under our eyes. Yeah.